Hi everyone and welcome to Despair Repair. In this video we'll try and help you find out what's wrong with your car when there's a no start no crank problem. We'll give our recommendation of what you can do to pinpoint the problem. Also this is not a definitive guide, all this comes from experience and what actually helped out. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, one thing must be clear. If your car cranks but will not start, then this video will probably not help. That's a very different problem altogether with different reasons and diagnostics. Reasons for this may include issues with the ignition system, fuel intake, air intake, various sensors and many other reasons. So again, this video is dedicated to a no crank, no start situation, where you turn the ignition key and more or less nothing happens. We'll start with the symptoms and then offer a possible solution. So you turn the ignition key and there is absolutely nothing. It's the same as if you haven't even turned the ignition key at all. This goes also if the dashboard lights come up, but when you turn to start to crank, everything dies. In this case, check these two things. The battery terminals and connections. If you see a lot of yellow and green buildup on the terminals and clamps, first try cleaning them. Use some sandpaper, a file or else, just make sure that the inner parts of the terminal are shiny and clean. This is very important. If the battery terminals are clean, check the battery itself. You can do it very simply without any tools, just turn on the headlights and if they have a dim glow, the battery is weak. Another even better way is to use a multimeter. If the voltage is under 12 volts, the battery is definitely a problem. Besides this, check how old the battery is and know that the battery has its lifespan. A good additional test on this part is to try and jumpstart the car to be sure that the battery is the actual problem. If you conclude it is, first try and recharge it. If it can't be recharged, then you'll have to buy a new one. But if all of this did not help with the symptom, which is not that unusual in modern cars, other things worth checking are. The fuses, know that on lots of cars there are numerous fuse box locations. Some are pretty hidden, so take a look at your user's manual. The fuses that may be burnt out are usually located somewhere around the battery. Check the ignition switch. This is even more rare of a problem, but when the switch is faulty, know that it can cause these symptoms. Check the ground connections. Check that every ground connection to the car body and the engine from the battery is clean and tight. Also worth mentioning and checking is a faulty kill switch or some sort of anti-theft system. If you have one and it's faulty, it can cause this. There can be other problems, but in the vast majority of cases, a bad battery or bad contact on the battery terminals will cause this symptom. You turn the ignition key, the dashboard lights come up normally, but there's no cranking. In this case, you turn the ignition key, everything is normal, and all the dashboard lights come up, but when you turn to crank, nothing happens. In this case, pay attention to one small but very important diagnosis detail, and that is the dashboard lights themselves. If the dash lights stay the same when you turn the ignition, so there's no change whatsoever, then you should check. First, the fuses, then the electric connections to the starter, mainly the cable that goes from the ignition switch. On this part, we must mention that if you're going to check the starter connections, make sure you take off the minus battery terminal. Next, check the starter relay if you have one on your car and check the ignition switch. You turn the ignition key, the dashboard lights go a bit dim and there's no cranking at all. If the dash lights go a bit dim, and this means that it's barely noticeable, check these. Check the battery condition and battery terminals if they're tight and clean, and check the starter condition. Namely, check the brushes on the starter, which is a common cause with this symptom. A more rare cause is a starter relay and the ignition switch. If you want to test if the starter brushes are the problem, then you can watch our video where we show you how to do it with a simple wooden handle or stick. It takes just minutes. Link for the full video in the card in the corner or on the link in the description. 
the dashboard lights come up and you hear a clicking sound. If you hear just a strong click sound from the engine bay when you turn the ignition key, check this. Check the battery condition and the battery terminals. Check the connections on the starter, mainly the thinner cable that comes from the ignition switch. Check the starter relay. Check the starter itself, mainly the big round relay located on the body of the starter and check all of the ground connections. You turn the ignition key, the dashboard lights come up and there is weak cranking. If you hear weak cranking, and by weak, this means that the starter barely turns over the engine, then check this. Check the battery condition and the battery terminal connections. Check all of the ground connections. Check all of the starter connections and check the starter. In this case, check the bushings, the rotor or else. With a no start, no crank problem, it is very important to make a good diagnosis. In most cases, the behavior of the dashboard lights will give a good hint of what's wrong. Take your time and have some patience when searching for the problem, otherwise you may end up paying and making unneeded repairs. Lots of times people immediately change the battery or even worse the starter, but in fact the terminals just needed cleaning for instance. That's a couple of hundred euros or dollars out the door. So don't immediately go and buy new batteries, starters and other expensive parts. First check all the connections and fuses, use a multimeter if you have one and try jump starting the car if you can. All of this is mostly free to do and will probably give you a good picture of what the problem is. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps, please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.